Hi everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood hanger hobbit here, and welcome to a subscriber request by Aaron Beeson. Surely I got that name right. This is the P39N0. And you're gonna see why you won't see me using the cannons much in this match. Or in any match, frankly. Yep. Big fat goose eggs. Uh, Gaijin, seriously. I have stood next to a P39. The cannon on that thing is monstrous. You can't tell me that a 37 millimeter round that bloody big, look at that, did it again. And ends up getting kill stole by the Freedom Cows, which honestly I can't blame him. Good lord, that's just sad, Gaijin. Seriously, fix the cannons. Ugh. But, now we'll see what this plane can really do. First thing you're going to have to know, you're going to have to fight above its normal best performing altitude. This thing performs best at around 34 to 3700 meters. Yeah, good luck getting the majority of your matches that freaking low. It happens. I mean, you can get lucky and it happens, but you still really need to climb up to about 49 to 5,500 meters in this just so you can wind that sucker up. Speaking of winding up, hello there, Key 43. How are you doing? I'm doing great. See, this baby winds up so nicely. Come here. Oh, you come here now. Oh, such a lovely fire. For those that wonder such things, I got stealth on everything except 37 millimeter, and I got a 400 meter convergence. In this match, I used the defaults because I hadn't got the unlock for the 37 yet. The match after this, I used the ground targets to see if they worked any better. Spoiler, yeah, not much. But man, the energy in this thing. This baby can wind up. I've got this thing up to 820 kilometers an hour and had no problem pulling it up. You just have to remember, she's quirky. With a nose that heavy, eh, she's going to want to pull to one side or the other. Ah, Key 61. Ooh, as you can see, the stealth belts work really good on this thing. Gots to love that. See, she handles good in the vertical. You just have to remember, she will bleed some speed in the vertical. Speaking of which, hi, Key 45. And I'm sure some of you are saying, why don't you shoot the cannon? He's right there. Shoot the cannon, shoot the cannon. No. No, 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 no. Don't ever shoot the cannon when you're in the vertical. Why? Because it works as an air brake. I found that out the hard way the first time I tried it. Yeah, went from 300 kilometers an hour to instant stall in one shot. So no, don't shoot the cannons in the vertical. Instead, just do like I'm doing right here. If you can't catch them in the vertical, drop that nose, let that weight work for you. Wind this puppy back up and then bring her back around. Seriously, with four 30 cows and two 50 cows, you got enough firepower. Don't worry about the stupid derp gun. I know it's funny when you hit somebody and they explode like that, if it works. But seriously, you will end up losing more kills trying to get kills with that stupid thing than you will if you just stick with the freedom cows and just use the derp gun as a last resort. I found doing it this way, you can get some really good matches in this thing. Oh, is it my birthday? You come here now. And see, that 30 hit that time. That 37, I mean. And, yep, yeah, nothing. Big fat goose. But I've still got enough energy. Although I lost about 100 kilometers firing that stupid thing. Goodbye. Thank you, come again, I appreciate. And see, didn't really need it. Once I figured out the way the stupid derp gun is in this game, 
I did so much better in this plane. What you have to do is... Ooh, free points. I'll take free points. Thank you there. I appreciate that. And let's see how we did. Ooh, second place, three kills. I'll take that. Heck yeah, I'll take that in a heartbeat. But, as I was saying, what you have to do with this bird is, you know the key 44 Atsu with that 40 millimeter goof gun? Yeah, you really have to treat it like that. Treat it as a gimmick. It's really what it is. Now, the 20 millimeter on that P400 besides me? No, that's not a gimmick. That actually works like a regular cannon, like a 151 or maybe the friggin' Shavox. Eh, it's a little sparky, but not too bad. This gun, yeah, it is derpity derpity do. So don't try to bet your behind on the derp gun you really shouldn't you will end up losing more kills and getting more frustration trying to get that stupid derp gun to do what it's supposed to do than you will if you just ignore it in fact you'll see in this match 90 percent of the time i don't even fire the thing until i get sub 100 meters and i'm about to overshoot and then I'm using it more as a last resort slash air brake to cut my speed a little bit before I bring it into a loop than I am actually trying to kill with the stupid thing. Because as you saw with the freaking Boo Fighter, you end up going pow, 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 until somebody gets tired of waiting on you to kill the stupid thing and then they just come along and take it and you feel like an idiot. So not fun. Well, while I'm climbing up here, let's let's learn a little bit about this bird. And something I want to say. Gaijin, if any of your guys listen to this, give us the prototype. Please give us the prototype. For those that don't know, the original XP-39 had a big air scoop on the side back there by the engine that let it have a two-stage turbo supercharger that would let that baby handle good up to 35,000 feet. Oh, yes. Unfortunately, NACA said, yeah, that's kind of slowing you down a little bit. You'd get 16% more power if you'd put it inside the fuselage. And Bell said, no, nah, we can't find any room for it. So, hey, let's just take it off. Uh, bad idea. It killed the high altitude performance the second they ripped that sucker off. In fact, it killed it so bad, the British took it out one time against the hurricane and the Spitfire and said, no, thank you. We'll just send them to Russia. Yeah. Dimitri, here you go, buddy. Here, take these. Now, 200 of the British order did end up getting diverted for use in the Pacific. And they found if you kept them below 10,000 feet, they did good. But that was the catch. Below 10,000 feet. <laughs> Didn't take long for the Japanese to figure out, just don't go down low with them funky planes. Oh, we got us a customer. A condor. And Oh, man, I am so getting sick of this. You notice what he's doing? He's dropped his bombs, and then he's put it into a fatal dive. Yeah, he did that on purpose. But hey, he wants to give me a free kill. Thanks for the free RP, buddy. In fact, I tell him that in chat. But I am so getting sick of YouTubers telling just drop bombs and jay out for maximum RP. No, you can get kills in bombers. Good grief. Heck, look at my video on the USSR B-25 where I killed like half the freaking enemy team solo with just using the back gunners. Good grief. There is no point in doing them like that. Anyway, as I was saying, 
it was used in the South Pacific till about 43, and then they got rid of them for the P-47s and the P-38 Lightnings because the island hopping started to get longer and longer, and this thing was strictly a short-range fighter. It just couldn't carry the fuel. So what was left of the American order ended up going to the Free French and the Italian co-belligerents. The Italians actually quite liked it. The French didn't care for it at all. Which can't say I blame them because eh, they were facing 109. So yeah, probably not the greatest thing for them. But the Italians ended up using them in Algeria as ground strikers and said they worked pretty dang good. Of course, the planes that got the most use was the Russians. Da, Ivan and Dmitri loved these things. They ended up using over 4,700 P-39s. And fully half, 50% of their top 10 aces of World War II got the majority of their kills flying what? P-39s. Yeah, they found out these things munched down on bombers, especially JU-87s and JU-88s doing low-level ground attacks. Yeah, it was snack time for the Russians. They loved the heck out of it. Oh, oh, no, not quite. In fact, a lot of the Russians just yanked off the 30 cows and just kept the freedom cows in the nose to go with that 37 and then use the 37 as the main gun. Come here, just a little more. See, got a hit with it. Lost the tail control. Did it kill him? No. Oh, still got credit for it. But come on, Gaijin. 37 millimeter against a plane that small. That thing should have exploded. Yeah, I guarantee you the Russians on the Eastern Front weren't having that problem. Now, when you look at the numbers they were flying and how many of them were slaughtering. Yeah. Really need to fix the hit detection when it comes to derp guns. But this right here, this is what makes this plane so good. Low altitude. Hi there, 109. You come here. Oh, oh, no, no. See what I mean about being quirky? Look at where my ring is and look at where the nose was. With that nose being so heavy, she wants to pull to one side or the other, trying to get it to pull straight up or straight down really not easy but what you have to do is learn to work with it instead of trying to fight it you notice how i didn't do a straight in the horizontal there i did it kind of a half ellipses that's because i was letting that big old heavy nose sling the rest of the plane around Ooh, let's see what we got left we got a 109 over here Take me a few shots, because, hey, this thing comes with a crap ton of ammo. So, hey, ranging shots, not a problem. Ooh, got to watch up there, though. Yep, because I can't just yank this thing into vertical and pull that sucker up like it was a 109 or a spit. Like I said, this thing will do great flips in the vertical, but she loses a lot of speed doing it, and you definitely don't prop hang with this sucker like you would with a yak. That's a no-no. Oh, hi there. What the heck? Now why would you do that? See, there's another one doing it. I'm getting so sick of these toxic players that just decide, you know what? This match ain't going perfectly my way. I'm just going to drive it straight in the ground. If you see me hit the ground, it's because I done pulled a George to the jungle. Watch out for that tree. The only time I've driven one straight into the ground is when somebody else has gotten a crit and someone else is trying to kill steal me because I don't support kill steals. Otherwise, I'm going for it. Come here. Come here. Oh, them little Italian ones, they're tasty. Gotta like those. They're fun to fly and fun to fly against. But as you can see, Notice how where my circle is and where my nose is. Trying to get that big old nose to go exactly where you want it to can sometimes be tricky. 
She definitely knows heavier than the Ayatollah. That's why you got to plan a little bit ahead. Come here. Come on, you can do it. Oh! See? Now that's when the 37 works. When you're so close to them that you can literally smell their exhaust, then it seems to work good. Oh, no, no. Nope, sorry. Not going to just stand there. Instead, I'll just pull it right up. Half aileron right back down. And then me and you can say hi. Oh, man. Oh, well. Can't kill them all. Oh, that would be fun. Anyway, I'm going to go grab me a few ground targets here and then get me a reload. So we will be coming back in just a few minutes to see the rest of the match. Be back in just a second. Now, this is a few minutes past. I've used up my ammo, got me a reload, and I'm climbing back up. And there's two guys left, and I'm trying to figure out if I was them, where would I be? I know there's one fighter and there's one bomber. And it's not a good bomber. It's not nothing like a 238. Nah, it's one of them little crappy Italian jobbies. So I have no clue where they're going to be at. I'm looking high. I'm looking low. Looking left. Looking right. But you notice I'm not trying to do anything like blind hunts. Because unless a match is really, really dragging, I think it's just sorry. If somebody wants to try to sneak up and get some altitude, let them sneak. I mean, heck, that's a good strategy. Especially when they're outnumbered as badly as they are here. I mean, if the little bomber can sneak his way around the map and take out a base, good for him. If the fighter can sneak around and get altitude above us and start taking us out from above, hey, great going, dude. I like good battles. I don't like, to me, blind hunts is kind of like a cheat. Only time I like to use it is when the match is drug out a long time and it's obvious that the person is not going to fight. They've just ran to some corner of the map where they're just sitting waiting for the tickets to bleed. And in that case... Yeah, I'll be happy to use a blind hunt or a venture. Until then, no. Looking around, where are you, buddy? Come on. I've been smelling something. Where are you? Anybody else hearing that ticket? Oh, there it is. Anybody else been hearing that ticky ticky lately? I don't know if that's supposed to be long range machine guns. Quite irritating. Sounds like the predator chitter. All right, hang on, buddy. Good lord. Oh, come here now. If I take you out, I get an ace. So you come here. But you notice, see, don't pull it straight in the vertical. Let that nose do a little work. Ooh, there's that fire. That's a pretty fire. Yep, he's going to roast up. I got that sucker. And it gets kill stole. Gee, don't you just love that? That would have been my ace, too. Gee, thanks a lot there, buddy. Call screaming for help. And then steals the kill from me. And people wonder why nobody likes to fly allies. You don't see Germans doing that kind of crap. <sighs> oh well. Guarantee you with that many kills, I should finally have this thing completely unlocked. Because for those that didn't know, all I've got is performance upgrades and the belts for the MGs at this point. I think I had the 37. That was it. Yeah, I had the 37 because I had the ground belts put on it just to see if you could kill pillboxes. Well, the last guy just went down. Let's see how we did. Ooh, first place, four kills, one assist. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that in a heartbeat. Heck yeah. 
Let's see how it pays. Ooh, not too bad for this lower tier. And ooh, I got a prize. Is it going to suck? Come on, Gaijin. You can make it suck. Show me you can make it suck. Yeah, you can make it suck. Ugh, like I'm ever going to use them stupid things. Now, what do I think about this bird? Thanks for requesting this, Aaron. This was actually quite fun. Now, stock, stock this thing is horrid. You better spend at least two or three matches just killing ground targets till you can get those performance upgrades. Because this thing handles like a bus till you get those. But once you do, this baby handles pretty dang good. Like I said, you need to climb to about 4,900 to 5,500 meters so you can wind that sucker up in a dive and then just stick to the side of the battle. Wait for everybody else to start coming down. In a way, treat it a lot like the IAR. She's chunky. She's not the fastest. She's not the best climber. So what you need to do is skirt the side of the battle and then drop down in there once everybody's busy looking at other people besides you. Well... Be sure to like and share, and I hope to see you up there in the clouds. Have a good one, y'all.